Pixie and welcome to Pixie's Playhouse. On today's episode, we will be talking about Pulp Fiction and trying apple cider donut Oreos. Limited edition, right in time for fall. So it's nice packaging. I like how they show these uh, donuts that seem to be very cinnamony and sugary on the cover there. So let's open these up. Okay, so they seem to be the white or uh, vanilla or golden Oreos just from the look of them. I'm gonna put some in my bowl so you can see. And it looks like the cookie seems to be darker on the bottom than on the top. Um, I don't know if that's deliberate or if that's just sort of how they came out, but let's have a look. So here they are in the bowl. A nice stack of them. And there is actually two layers of cream I can kind of see inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'll hold up a cookie so you can see. So there's that way, and I'm gonna show you the cream that way as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist off the lid. I don't know if you're able to see this, but there's two layers of cream here. So there's a top layer and a bottom layer. Um, so the bottom layer looks a little bit lighter, I think. So let's taste this cream by itself. Tastes like fall, that sort of um, cinnamon and nutmeggy kind of thing happening. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not tasting apple yet. Try it as a cookie. Okay. A lot of cinnamon. I'm just tasting cinnamon. I don't get any apple off of that. Um, it does definitely taste very fall-like, very spicy. Maybe like some sort of cinnamon and other spices used within a cider. It doesn't taste like a donut really. Maybe very, very faintly just like a cinnamon donut. Uh, although it seems to be two different colored layers of cream in there, I don't taste anything different from one to the next. Um, unless, yeah, one, I don't know, there seems to be two pipings of cream, a darker and a lighter, but I'm not tasting anything different. And then definitely one uh, side of the cookie looks darker than the other, but again, tastes the same. To me, there's nothing that really differentiates this from their cinnamon bun Oreo um, cookies. So, I mean, it's interesting and maybe slightly modified for fall flavoring. I would give this one a 7 out of 10 horns in the air. Pulp Fiction is a 1994 crime film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. It is regarded as Tarantino's masterpiece. It won the Palme d'Or at the 1994 Cannes Film Festival and won Best Original Screenplay at the Academy Awards. The film is a combination of humor and violence. The film is chock full of monologues and casual conversations such as Vincent Vega telling Jules that a quarter pounder with cheese is called a royale with cheese in Paris and that in Holland they ate french fries with mayonnaise instead of ketchup. The film's cast includes John Travolta as Vincent Vega, Samuel L. Jackson as Jules, Uma Thurman as Mia Wallace, Harvey Keitel as Winston Wolfe, Bruce Willis as Butch, Christopher Walken as Captain Coons, Ving Rhames as Marcellus, Eric Stoltz as Lance, Rosanna Arquette as Lance's girlfriend Jody, Amanda Plummer as Honey Bunny, and Tim Roth as Pumpkin. Now, as sort of an ode to the Lance character, I do have the Monster Mash cereal out in the uh, back, which has fruit brewed on it, which was uh, the box of cereal that he was eating in the movie. Unfortunately, I don't have a box of fruit brewed myself, so that's the closest I could get for the time being. 
Steve Buscemi makes a cameo appearance as a waiter, and Kathy Griffin plays herself. Tarantino also makes an appearance as Bonnie's husband. Pulp Fiction opens with Honey Bunny and Pumpkin trying to carry uh, out a diner holdup, while him and Vincent and Jules are having a meal in one of the booths. The story jumps back and forth from past to present with interwoven storylines. Prizefighter Butch is supposed to take a dive, but double-crosses gangster Marcellus. The cleaner, Winston Wolf, is called in to deal with the Bonnie situation. One of the best scenes in the movie occurs when Vincent takes Mia out to Jackrabbit Slims. Mia orders a $5 milkshake, then they enter a twist I've got an Oreo milkshake here that I actually made myself. If you'd like to make it, here's the recipe. You need Oreo cookies, three cups of vanilla ice cream, a third cup whole milk, two cups of whipped cream plus more for garnish. You place the cookies in a blender, you pulse a few times until the crumbs form, add the milk, ice cream, and whipped cream to the blender. Blend on high until smooth, pour into glasses and serve with more whipped cream and garnish. This makes two servings. If you like, you can make this a more adult drink by adding vodka or Baileys. All right, so I'm gonna let you have a look at that. There we go. Okay. God damn, that's a pretty effing good milkshake. I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's pretty effing good. By the way, that quote is courtesy of Vincent Vega. When they return home, Mia snorts Vincent's heroin, mistaking it for cocaine. Vincent brings an overdosing Mia to Lance's house for help. Lance is forced to put down his bowl of fruit brute. Don't be a... Uh... And please let me know in the comments what some of your favorite Tarantino films are and what you put on your french fries. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay cool honey bunny.